Hello guys, welcome back sa akin channel. Ako nga pala si Sir Mar Santa Maria, Master Teacher 1 of Dover Luis A. Carrer Junior East National High School na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga math techniques para mapadali ang topic nyo sa mathematics. Okay guys, so pag-usapan naman natin ang learning task number 2 ng measures of variability of ungrouped data muna tayo. This under ng Mathematics 7, quarter number 4, and peak number uh, 7. So, na-discuss natin sa pinaka-previous uh, video, ilalagay ko na yung link para kung gusto mong balikan yung measures of variability, uh, tingnan mo na lang doon. So, meron tayong apat, we have range and then second. Okay, the average is a deviation or the mean deviation and for the third one, we have the variance and yung letter uh, D natin is standard deviation is only the square root of okay the square root of the variance so ganun lang kadali yung uh, standard deviation pag nahanap na kagad si okay variance so let us proceed with a learning task number 2 so we are going to calculate the range the average of deviation uh, the variance and the standard deviation of the following set of data observations so ito yung 3 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7, 8, and uh, 8. Okay, of course, pag inanap natin yung range, napakadali, highest minus the lowest uh, value. Ang highest value natin dito ay 8. Then, ang lowest value natin is 3. Then, sa black natin yung 8 and 3, makukuha mo lang yung uh, 5. Okay, so pagka sinold natin yung pinaka-average uh, deviation, o kaya naman mean deviation, syempre, kailangan natin si mean na uh, equal kay uh, 6. Tapos, sa provide tayo ng table para mas madali mag-analyze. So, ano gagawin dito? Yung 3, i-minus natin na 6 na magiging negative 3. Pero yung absolute value na magiging positive 3. Then, yung 4, i-minus natin na 6, magiging negative 2. Pero yung absolute value ay positive 2. 5 minus 6, negative 1. The absolute value is 1. 5, ah, same lang din dito yan. Then, 6 minus 6, 0. Then, 7 minus 6, magiging equal kay 1. Okay, ganun din lang din dito. Paraho lang yan kasi paraho lang naman yung uh, data natin dito. Pag 8 minus 6, magiging 2. Ayan, paraho lang din dito. Then, i-add natin. Pag in-add natin, okay, 3 plus 2 magiging 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, plus 2, 12 plus 2 magiging equal kay okay, 14. Then, i-substitute natin sa pinaka-formula na average sa deviation is equal to the summation of the absolute value of x minus mean all over n. Ang kung saan, eto, nakuha na natin as equal to 14. Then, divide mo lang by 10. Siyempre, pagka nag-divide by 10, pinakamadali, buo mo lang yung decimal point dito. Kaya, magiging equal kay 1.4. So, dito, hindi mo ka nakalang gumawa na calculator. So, kaya, kaya mo hanapin yung average sa deviation kahit nga ng mental calculation. So, pag ginawa naman natin yung pinaka-variance, uh, siyempre, kailangan pa rin talaga natin uh, yung mean na equal kay 6. Then, eto yung uh, table natin. So, meron tayo ngayong um, deviation. Ako sa deviation natin ay uh, x minus uh, the mean. So, hayaan natin maging negative. Hindi natin kinakalaan dyan ng absolute value. Kasi pag in-square natin yan, magiging positive yan. Okay, square uh, deviation tayo. So, we have uh, 3, mi 3 minus 6 magiging negative 3. Pero pag in-square natin, magiging positive 9. Then, 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Square magiging uh, 4. Then, 5 minus 6 magiging negative 1. Square magiging 1. Ito, paraho lang. Kaya, copy mo lang yon. Then, 0 na yan. 6 minus 6, 0. Then, 7 minus 6. 7 minus 6 magiging equal kay 1. Okay, score mo magiging 1. Ito, paraho na lang din to. Kaya, paraho lang din dito. Pagdating kay 8, 8 minus uh, 6 magiging 2 squared. Magiging 4. Paraho lang to. Kaya, copy mo lang dito. Okay? Then, add natin. 9 plus 4 magiging 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so 22 plus 4 magiging 26. Ito yun. Then, ang magiging formula natin dito ay the okay, summation of d squared all over n minus 1. Nasaan yung d squared natin? Ito na yun. Okay, yung summation natin, ito, 26 ay yun. Then, divided by 10 minus 1 magiging equal kay 9. Divide mo lang to. Pwede namang uh, gumawa na calculator pero pwede hindi. Kaya mo pa rin hanapin ngayon ang 2.89 na equal ngayon kay variance ng symbol natin ay S squared. Okay, so we have 2.89. Kaya magiging madali na ang pagkuha ng standard deviation kasi nahanap na natin yung pinaka okay, variance. So, ang gagawin mo lang doon ay kunin mo lang yung square root ng uh, variance. So, yung variance natin ay 2.89. Then, take the square root. Kasi pag yung square root mo to guys, kapag uh, um, pumunta kayo ng grade 9 about radical, radicals, kapag yung square root mo yan, eto ngayon mga kasi, kasi inverse kasi yung square root tapos yung uh, squaring a number. 
Kasi pag sinabi natin square root, alam ba, the square root of x, ibig sabihin niyan ay x to the, okay, para magkaroon kayo ng idea ha, so x to the, okay, 1 half. Tapos, alimbawa, ito, meron itong square, tapos ito na meron tayo dito yung square, di ba? Pag inano mo yung 2 times 1 half, di ba, magiging 1, kaya magiging x na lamang to. So, yun lang yung ibig sabihin para matanggal yung pinaka-square, ah, pinaka-square, gagamitan natin, natin ang square root. Okay, kung gusto mo lang tanggalin yung pagkaka-square root, ang gagawin mo lang doon, square mo lang doon. Kasi yung square root at yung uh, square ay inverse to its other. So, dito, kailangan mo na talaga ng calculator. <laughs> so, although may idea kayo kung paano mag-approximate ng square root ng first quarter, so, papayagan naman siguro kayong gumamit dito, square root of 289 is equal to 1.7. So, medyo maliit yung value ng uh, SD natin, no? Kasi kapag in-analyze, uh, i-interpret natin, this means that the scores are clustering within 1.7 around a mean of 6. So, that is between 7.7 .7 and 4.3. Paano nahanap yung 7.7? .7? So, 6 plus 1.7, makukuha mo yung 7.7. .7. Then, 6 minus 1.7, makukuha mo yung 4.3. So, since medyo maliit yung pinaka SD natin or standard deviation, so therefore, the values are closely clustered about the mean or pwede natin identify that yung pinaka-scores na to o yung pinaka-set of data natin ay uh, more on homogeneous. So, itong part na to, medyo madali na lang to kasi nandun na yung uh, data natin sa pinaka-lean. So, basahin natin. This is the difference between the largest value and the smallest value. Siyempre, it refers on the range. The measure variation that considers the deviations Okay, yung the individual scores from the mean Meron tayong average deviation and standard deviation Aling kaya sa dalawa Pagka itong ano lang Individual scores from the mean Medyo simple lang yung deviation na kukunin natin It refers on the average uh, deviation So it is the average of the squared Meron na ah, Nakascore na to Medyo complicated na ng konti Nakascore na yung pinaka deviation from the mean So it refers on Okay, the variance Then the square root of the variance The standard deviation Or the measure variation of the set of data in terms of the amounts of by which the individual values differ from the mean. So, ito na yung natawag nating standard deviation. So, lahat na yan ay tinatawag natin as the measure of variability na kung saan they used to indicate the spread of the data set. Kaya ito number, uh, number 5. So, pinag-ausapan dito kung scattered ba or uh, compressed. So, pero hindi kanya identify ng, ng, ng uh, measure of variability kung Alam ba, meron tayong two groups kung sino ba ang nag-perform ng better. Bawa, isang grupo, ang standard deviation is 1.5. Okay, pangalawang grupo, ang standard deviation natin dito, sabi natin ay 3.5. Kaya mo bang identify kung sino nag-perform ng better o hindi? Okay, hindi natin kayang identify kapag gagamitin natin yung pinaka measures of uh, variability. Kasi sinasabi lang dito, kaya nga variation, in-identify dito kung ano ba yung pagkakaspread. Kaya nga pinag-usapan natin dito yung compressed o kaya scattered Na kung saan pagka naging compressed, magiging homogeneous Pagka scattered, magiging heterogeneous Diba? Ito naman yung limitation ng uh, measures of uh, variability Kung may limitation yung uh, central tendency, ito meron din Pero pag pinagsama natin yan, mas kaya natin i-analyze ngayon Ang data set na pinagsama ang central tendency at ang uh, measures of variability so, ayun guys, kung nagustuhan mo yung pinaka video natin, like and share naman at don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell all para kapag nag-upload ako ng uh, group data at yung pinaka learning task number 3 ay syempre maranotify ka guys. Thank you and God bless.